Hello everybody, SoCal Thero here, welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we are going to be driving our International Lone Star here. We are up in Spokane, Washington, and we are going to be going to Kennewick, Washington. We're taking some Teslas over to, uh, I forget where we're taking them to, what kind of business it is, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, just to answer a question I had before, I'm going to go ahead and start the truck up. So it is raining, so let's go ahead and put our window down and see if we have any kind of sound change. Oh, that's neat. You can hear the rain even louder when you do that. How about on this side? Oh yeah, both sides. That's cool. Oh, look at that. You can actually... Let's see if you can clean the window down. That's pretty cool too. Oh yeah, that's nice. That'll make seeing out of mirrors a lot better for me, too. That's great. All right, well, engine started. As quiet as it is. Let's go ahead and uh, start going here. Actually, I think that sound is not right. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right, I think that's a little bit better. The last video I recorded, it sounded like the volume was really overpowering in the game to my voice, so I made some adjustments, but I think I adjusted it too low. So, hopefully it sounds good now. And then, as you just heard, I have navigation in here again, finally. Uh, I just went with... Okay, I will. Uh, I just... Yeah, I will at the light. Um, I did have Arnold Schwarzenegger in there for Terminator, but for YouTube, I didn't know if they tried to hit me with some sort of copyright strike saying that it's uh, recorded audio, so I decided not to keep it in there. I was going to do it, but... Just not sure how YouTube would interpret it and if it would nail me for that. So I, I decided not to. We just use the default one. And it's just been, it's been there. It's and I, other than the fact that she interrupts me all the time when I'm trying to narrate here. But uh, it's not that I don't like the voice navigation. It's just I always forget to turn it on more than anything. And then it interrupts me too like that. <laughs> but after my last episode where I went into oncoming lanes, I think it's probably best to just keep navigation on for my safety and uh, everybody else's safety on the road. So I hope you guys are off to a good start to your week. I'm looking forward to the weekend myself. It's a gloomy day up here in Washington. It's early morning hours. It's... No, oh, it's not on there. It did say it earlier. I think it's about 6 a.m. or so. It's dark enough to be. Then again, it's raining, so it's hard to tell. Oh, there's a truck stopped. I gotta get over real quick. I don't know what's going on there. It looks like they had an accident or something, but that was really dangerously close. Well, we should be good now. Flatten off the gas. Let me just uh, lower it here. It's raining, so it's probably best not to use the cruise control. I think it's safe to go there. Oh, I hope so. I'm trying to stay over here so that way I'm not block impeding traffic. Then again, now my lane's ending, so I have to go back. God, that's bad. How is it with the window down? Let's see. Oh, that's a lot better. It's like a, just a regular, regular day. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that for the drop-offs. Let's go ahead and adjust our wiper speed here. <coughs> Ooh, there we go. Oh, that might not be fast enough. Oh, I don't think I'm pressing the wrong button or the right button though, too. There we go. Yeah, it's starting to dump on us here. And we are speeding our ass off, but these guys are driving pretty slow too. I'm doing about three over right now, and I'm actually creating the flow of traffic right now. 
What is this? Don't drink and drive. Drive safely. Okay. We won't. Can't say that uh, I won't drive safely with these windows, though. Fiddling with them. I'm gonna put the window down for a little bit. Just like that. Catch some of that air. It's pretty cool. Neat little feature would be... Uh, let's make sure we didn't miss our exit. No, we're good. How far are we? Yeah, we're quite a ways away. We're okay. I could talk safely without missing the exit. <laughs> It'd be pretty neat if uh, you left your windows up and if you like didn't... Oh, okay. We gotta keep right. Never mind. I got this car in my way. I need to roll down my window so I can see. Okay, everybody is slowing down. They are not helping. Alright, well, I had to do that non legitly and unsafely, but that wasn't totally my fault. Damn, Chargers decided to slow down and merge over to the next lane, so. I think I see somebody there, but I can't tell. No, it looks like we're okay. There we go. Try to get to the right here so I'm not blocking the passing lane. Seems safe over there. As soon as I thought I had a clearing to start talk, I ran out of road. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't check the gas, and I haven't put gas in this thing since I bought it, and it's at half a tank right now, so I'm going to have to do that. I'm not sure if on this run I'm going to need to or not, but I definitely will probably need to. Let's see, how many miles... Is that left till empty? Oh, 1,100 miles. Yeah, we got plenty. We'll be fine. I love the information display in this thing. It's so nice. I gotta drive the other international again too. I'm not sure if it works though with the 137 update. I'm pretty sure it does, but I've been a little hesitant to try modded trucks just yet because who's to say that with the window update they don't do it and it causes an issue with the game and it crash. So try not to use those for the time being. At least not so close to uh, when you need to get more recordings done to keep up with the schedule. Because I need a little more free time where I have a little more space. I'll give it a shot and see if they're working. And then can do some recordings with the modded trucks I have too. And it's really coming down up here, isn't it? Well, then again, that's probably a typical Washington weather. I always wanted to go to... Washington State and check out what it's like up there. Oh, can bypass the way station. Okay, cool. Just kind of curious what the uh, weather and atmosphere is like up there. I'm a big fan of rain and cloudy weather, so stuff like this doesn't bother me. Always be curious to see what it's like up there. I really would enjoy it if it did for the entire time I was there. It was raining constantly. Caprice ahead of us looks like the car I almost head on with when I went into the wrong lane in the last episode. He's <laughs> driving really slow though. He's doing, doing 10 under the posted speed limit. I'm getting over myself. Unless my navig, yep, my navigation comes up and says something. Oh, now you're gonna get over. Thanks. Keep left. Yep, I'm keeping left. Don't worry. Keep on keeping. Oh. It's like somebody turned the faucet off. It stopped raining. Just completely out of nowhere. These guys are oh. Why are they driving so slow? Oh, they're not driving slow. I'm speeding my ass off. It's 45 here. Keep left and then turn left. And Jake break our way in. All right, no trains coming. And we'll turn left here. Turn left. This is going to be a little bit of a short run. I didn't realize it 
be this short, but the last run was kind of long, so I guess this just makes up for the extremely long run. Then again, I still have to back these in. Who knows? I could Get ready probably... To turn left. Okay, I'm getting ready. Turn left. Will do. Just not in front of this cop. There we go. Oh, we're taking it to a dock, it looks like. Well, there's not a train finally, coming. We are here. Finally, we are here. Yes, finally. Uh, where are we parking this? Uh, it's just like the last one. It's in between two trailers and a truck. Ugh. The last one I got lucky when I was driving my uh, Mac Anthem. This one, I don't know how lucky I'm going to get. I don't really need the lights now. It's morning and it's not raining. All right, let's swing it back this way. All right, there we go. See if I get lucky on this one too. I'm gonna hit it with one shot. Must not be ready to load these Teslas yet. Probably waiting for the train to get here. Although I hear a train somewhere. At least it sounds like I hear a train anyways. I cut that a little bit harder. Look at that, right next to the Tesla trailer. Shipping a whole bunch of Tesla out of here. Cars and parts probably. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and kill that. Set our park break. Uh Let's roll down our window just in case we lock our keys in here. We can still get in. Kill the engine. Uh, yep, that's all good over there. Take a look and see. Yeah, that's a pretty good run. Just realized it was so short I didn't get a screenshot, so I'm going to have to get it somewhere along in the video. Now let's go ahead and decouple this. And there we go. Got excellent on this one. Took some Tesla cars from Spokane to Kennewick. We drove 127 miles. It took us two hours and 36 minutes to do it. We earned $7,971 and we got 381 XP. Uh, skill wise, I should be getting pretty close on my skills. Yeah. So got these three left to do and then we'll be maxed out. Uh, I had somebody ask me which mods I have, so let me go ahead and save this real quick. And then I'll jump over to my mod list so you can see it. And there you have it. Those are the mods that I have in the game. Uh, the trucks, again, I'm not sure are working or not, but hopefully they are. Um, I have to give them a shot to see. By the time this video comes out, most of them will probably be updated if they don't work right now. So shouldn't be a problem by the time you guys see this. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Um, I've been taking a look at my analytics, and I'm noticing that I'm having a lot of people view my content, but I don't have a lot of subscribers. So I am going to put out there, uh, if you do like the content that you see, please hit the subscribe button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it as it helps me out. As well as it lets you know when new content's uploaded. Uh, don't force the bell one, though, but if you want to know when something comes out on the time the dot that it does come out you can click that bell notification next to it as well and you'll get an alert when i upload a new video again that one i don't like to push because i know a lot of people like to come and watch at their own leisure so they don't want to be interrupted with a notification but anyways guys thanks again for watching i do appreciate everyone that is taking the time out of the day to watch and i will see you on the next one take care Oh